Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Billionaire Mandy and I am here to do another, to do my first demonstration video. Um, I'm excited, like I'm really excited. I'm really doing a demonstration here with a bunch of oils only because I never have a good surface to do them on. But um, I have my little office set up here and I am finally able to do it for you. I hope, I know it's, it's facing the sun so I'm not sure like what the lighting is doing to it make my spritz um i use my spritz basically for detangling for moisturizing just anything anytime i want to pass the comb through my head and it's not going i spray a little bit of this stuff and it just works wonders um for the purpose of this video i'm gonna go ahead and use this spray bottle so that you guys can actually see um what i'm pouring into it how the color changes and that type of stuff and so you can see like the amount you can get an idea but i use this bottle only because the spritz goes wider and thinner this one the spritz it spritzes like it's more concentrated so it makes my hair dripping wet this makes my hair just moisturized so it's like thinner um so it goes that way this one goes like a lot of water all, all at once going 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 I think for those of you who had this bottle you know what I'm talking about so you can find a bottle that works best for you but I did buy this one and I ended up not liking it as much but this one I really love this is my moisture motions um the nourishing leave-in conditioner the conditioner what made me make my own the conditioner was finished and I liked it I liked the way it was making my hair flow I was like I can make my own I have a bunch of oils here I might as well so let me go ahead and show you the oils that I have. I have tea tree oil. I have tea tree oil. I have glycerin. Peppermint oil. Grapeseed oil. Aloe vera gel or juice. It's up to you. 100% pure almond oil. I have jojoba oil coconut oil that's in this bottle and then I have conditioner now you can use any conditioner you use you want to use the one that I used for that one was the vo5 moisture milk that one's amazing but I ran out of my vo5 so I ended up using this one I want to start with half water so how much ever your bottle is um, let half of it be water because you want it to be mostly water based um, and one of the most important things about this, if you care about, you know, what goes in your hair, I'm really big on what goes in my hair and what goes in my mouth in terms of like knowing exactly what's in there and being able to pronounce all the ingredients and just like, just because I don't like all that nasty stuff they put in things today, these days. So this is the bottle. It has half of the amount filled with water. The parts that have the moisture complex um, you're gonna put a little bit more than the parts that have the oil complex. So I'm what I mean by that is I'm gonna put more conditioner and more um, aloe vera juice than I do oil. So like I'll put two parts of this, two parts of that, and one part oil. Okay, let's go. So for the this is the aloe vera gel or juice. Um, it's from Trader Joe's, and it literally. Just, so we're at that comb. We're gonna go ahead and squeeze the aloe vera juice in there. And a lot of these, um, you know, like cocktails, is really up to what you want and how you want it to be. So this is the conditioner. This is from Trader Joe's as well. Um, and I'm gonna squeeze a good amount of conditioner in there. Now, when you're using the conditioner, you can use a conditioner of your choice, but you want to make sure that the conditioner that you use is really light so because you're not washing it out you want to make sure you know it's like one of those light airy conditioners like the vo5 moisture milk that's to me that's the best one to use or this one um you can go ahead and use that now we're here so the aim is to get right here um i think that's what i'm going to do because i still have to throw it back in this bottle because i don't like using this one so we're going to go ahead and use the peppermint oil this is hair growth it stimulates the follicles of the hair and um, sweet oil which does the same as well 
Grape seed is one of the oils that are closest to our natural hair oil, our natural hair oil. Um, this is grape seed oil. Um, almond milk. Almond milk. Almond oil. Oh, this is an oil in. Now I'm gonna put the only ingredient that's missing here today is castor oil. Only because I cannot, I don't know where my castor oil is. I have one for the same, the Now Solutions brand. And I don't know where it is, but I'm gonna find it. We're gonna put some tea tree oil in there and that's 100% tea tree oil. I'm gonna go light on the tea tree oil only because it has, it's really good for you, but the scent makes me nauseous. So I'm gonna put it into work and I, I feel like I, I've put so many things in there and I'm smelling the tea tree oil so much. Now, the next thing is glycerin. This also does help to moisturize your hair. Um, so I'm gonna put a generous amount in there. And we're here, we're almost at our target. Now I'm gonna put some jojoba oil in there as well. Jojoba oil is really, really, really good for your hair. It's very concentrated. I'm gonna go ahead and put some coconut oil. Now the reason this coconut oil is in this bottle is because I brought it from Guyana, South America. I got myself the real stuff. And I pour a good amount in there. So the oils that, oops, sorry. I think my hand was over the camera. The oils that are, that have a lot of good stuff for your hair and that are cheaper, I'm gonna put more of. And the stuff, the oils that are concentrated, I'm gonna do so. This is the first time I'm using this oil. I got it from a fellow, from actually, so I'm gonna put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can see, like, I don't know if you can see it. This is some He posted, stuff. I will let you know what this is. I got it for review from, um, from an, uh, the company sent it out to me to review and um, I'm still working on it so that's why I don't want to say what it is because so you don't you can skip that part but I just want to put it in here because I want to see how it's gonna work with my hair and the last thing I'm gonna do is um, extra virgin olive oil and this is the Tuscan version olive virgin virgin olive oil um, so we're gonna put a we're gonna put a generous amount of this only because it's a cheaper oil. All right. And every time you make it, I think the consistency is gonna be a little bit different. So not to worry if it's like a little, a little bit off because you're not gonna get it unless you're measuring every single time. You're not gonna get it, you know, the same way every single time. And then, so this is what my mixture looks like. The shampoo, the water is here, and these are all the oils that are mixed in. Um, you just wanna give it a good shake. And before you use it, every time you wanna shake it. And this is my spritz. All right, so this is what my spritz looks like. And there you have it guys. This is my hair spritz that I use every day um, just to spritz in my hair. I may add a little bit more water to this because it's not as runny as I like it to be. So I may add, I wanna add this much water in there just to let you know um, because I like it to be a little bit more loose in consistency. But there you have it. That is my spritz video, um, my DIY spritz. And I hope you guys learn from this video and um, you can make your own spritz. If you do, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.